in central England's Midlands region lies the small bustling city of Nottingham. Historically known for its role in the legend of Robin Hood, its lace market area which was once the epicentre of the world's lace industry and the home of Nottingham Forest FC, one of the oldest football clubs in the world. Nottingham is also the birthplace of one of the UK's legendary sound systems, the mighty V Rocket International. Ruben and them man, and Parliament, them man, there is a man when we look on them man, they string up sound in a yapi. Look on them man, I said, yeah, I know. Yes, the Barry and Parliament, them, them no song, you know. Now tell you, anything they do, they make a search for it and find it, and you know, them cut it. People know anytime V Rocket and Saxon Boko dance have a nice. V Rocket is a bona fide, phenomenal sound system. Rocket Sound System was founded by Spanish town natives Mr. Doogie and his wife Miss Imogen Robinson, who, like many Jamaicans, migrated to the UK during the Windrush era. It all started with a small 50 watt component system. Now, me and Valerie came over to join the family in 1966, and um. That's here England won the World Cup, I think. And um, yeah, we come in an environment which was different to back home, you get me? So my mum and dad used to cook for, you know, the peers in the in the sentence area. Because um, there was no restaurant as such for the black community. So my mum used to provide that kind of service. Anyway. Amongst that, my dad had a little 50 watt zone. I would call it zone system. <laughs> have a little 50 watt thing I go on where entertain the little gathering every now and then. Them days, black people are in a club for God, so it was home entertainment. See? So, for the local community, they used to cook food from the house and sell. Local community, did, man, them go and play them domino and gamble and them something. And weekend, house party, blues party. Not just in the house of Alfred Street, but different parts of Nottingham. Cramer Street and Union Road and them place there. So that's how the foundation started. My parents used to listen to a sound, V Rocket, back in the days, in a them young days at Jamaica. So, as, as, as young people, so when them start the sound, rest in peace, Miss Simon and Miss Adogi. It was a no brainer for them, them just name it half of the sound where they used to listen to back home. As Mr. Doogie sought help to build up V Rocket International, he was introduced to another Spanish town native who was a master in his field, master amplifier builder, the legendary Legs the Giant. He was looking an amplifier and somebody told him about me, so he came to the house. I would become his friends because he was from Spanish town. I used to live in Spanish town, you know back home so we come together really but the second amp that I made for Doogie was 600 watt wasn't five I don't tell nobody because one thing you never do in sound system you never tell your people that what you got because they can beat you once a man knows what, what you got he can counteract you because he can go and build a bigger amplifier than you. But when he doesn't know, he don't know. He don't know what to, you know. And you can't come to me and say to me, I want you to build what Doogie have now. You tell me what you want, you know. And I'll build what you ask me to make. But I'm not going to tell you 
Anybody that comes to me and asks me, I wouldn't tell you what I built for Duke I like. Because that's his business. Yeah, I created the V-Rocket, don't forget, you know? So anything that V-Rocket does, it interests me. Because I know, know V-Rocket before they know anything about sound system. Before they know about sound system. As V-Rocket continued to develop, across the town there were two brothers who had started their own youth sound system called Dub City. The two brothers would later become the front runners on V-Rocket who would take the sound system to a higher dimension. Them two look at your brother called Beefy and Bird. <laughs> and me I tell you the truth. I see a dedication in the two of you. When we say dedication in the man, real dedication for sound system. And one night we have a little clash. I think I was um, the MFM center upon Mansfield Road. And we have a little clash with Three Rocket and Dub City. And you know the man them do the man them T for children you know, and play back power and kill way. You know the dance, you know. So anyway from that we just say, you know something. I'm going to invite them two brothers and I saw them because them two youth know the thing. And if they have a bigger son, who knows? Thursday night, we used to go down there. You're listening to Dub City. Mm -hmm. We never built a son yet, is it? Yeah, but we have a little thing, man. Yeah, we so have a little the CC. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 All yeah, because right. it was in the early days. Then, it? We did a tennis now, which was filled with bass. We did have a bass up there which we were kind of lucky because it was a youth centre. But going back to when we did first meet Beefy and Bernie, yeah, f forever, Beefy and Bernie, me, me, I always remember them playing V-Rocket sound system. Ruben, also known as Beefy, was a natural born selector who had a genuine love for the music. He was a class act and a fearless warrior in the dancehall arena. Yeah, I really had a love for music from a really early year, from about six years old. And always used to play my dad or my older brother's music after they finished playing them. And that went on for years. We built a little sound and called it Dub City. We had a load of energy and vibes with the friends and crews around it. And, um, it just went from there to where we... I heard V Rocket play one day coming from school. I dropped Valerie off at her house and um, they were testing the sound. And I never heard nothing like it. They had tannoys playing their treble and mid. So it sounded sweet, it sounded... The booming heavy beat bass. First time I kind of got the feel of dancehall bass line. A couple of years went on and then we and um, Valerie and Rankin and most of the Robinson family um, came together, started to move together as a crew and in the long run we took it over from Bobsy Rob, that's Barry's big brother. It was handed down from him. Well really the old man, Mr Doogie, handed it down to me and my brother. I said, you know, he took directions from me and my brother where we was to go with it. And Mr. Doogie, you know, pressing the sword, you know, soldier. Parliament, also known as Bernie, was a master sound engineer who took great pride in producing excellent sound quality and delivering devastating power that toppled many of V-Rocket's opponents. My role with the sound, V-Rocket International, was the sound technician and engineer when we first going. And I was the person who makes sure everything I play right Cause you see me as a man now, if my son now play right and you know, I get trouble, we have to get to the bottom of it. And 
whatever it takes, we have to get to the bottom of it. See? So, I had a lot of experience in fault finding alongside the technicians that I work with coming up as a young man, going back to the beginning. Let me say the great Carl, enough people call him Legs the Giant. Yeah, I, I used to teach him things, you know? Because first of all, I make the sound, I like to hear the sound play a certain way. And if he's not doing it right, I'll go to him and I'll tell him, I said, Bernie, that's the way, that's not the way you do it, man, and, you know? And get on with him like that. He would come and him tweak the preamp two place, and boom, me just hear the thing lift up. And I say, okay, my general, the boss. He say, ah, you, that? you can't do them thing there. Man who kill in a dance, me get some rugged training. When me go out with all Valor Wall man, you know, and slip up, you know. You see the next day, him, 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 him no rough to me, you know, but him assure me, say, you slip this, you know, brother. And if you make that happen again, that I go go on. So me get, me get some good teaching. Oh, I saw him was one week we go out and we play all right. The next week we go out and the sound brought down. We used to play together like, I can remember a clash with our Radway. We, we and them play a few times. We hurt them. We have to say that we hurt them still. <laughs> <laughs> my always break down. That was them problem. In any dance and God, them always break down. Yeah, them start off a play and everything, but yeah. down there at night, in them early days still, down there at night, Something always go wrong, so, so if something go wrong, you just take liberty. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and it was a turn, you know, with skin. And one night, I work up, I work at the casino, and we were getting a big clash, you know. A Leicester, which was the most devastating sound. You talk about dinosaur, when you talk about Quaker City, a mafia town. The dance was at the famous nightclub, the Rockers Club Leicester. And during the dance there, it was Quaker City International. And the up and coming, detrimental, Stafford Jamafia tone. And we go in for the dance, before we even, before, from when we go on the flyers, them say we are underdog. So we know we then are going to go, beat up nobody. But we say, you know what? We could go fling the two tunes them we have and play with sound, you know. That night, sound system wise, Quaker give me a lesson and he was using his sound. Tobacco, mafia tone, because he had the big, clean, crisp sound. But, Quaker didn't play three ways them time. We have your tops, your mid and your bass. Mafia did, Coxon did. So they could lock off the bass. And it mid-range come in and And that night, I see him Stafford, Mafia Tone. Whole half big bad Quaker City. Quaker couldn't touch Mafia for music. Mafia had all the tunes. And Mafia turned took that dance. But it was a clean and crisp playing as Quaker, but that top and bottom thing. And them come with this, who say? And when everybody said, go there. And it was like thunder coming down in the dance hall. And an art. That was an experience because of the night there. Mafia and Quaker teach we a lesson where we never did forget it and I'll now remember it. But where it do for me and my team was make us know where we have to get to. Right? Getting there wasn't the problem is we now know, so we had to get there. 
Call me and tell you the man them give you a warm time. Stafford, mighty Jamafia Tony was incredible. His performance was super outstanding. Quaker City, we can't take nothing from the big man. Carl do him never have the tune like Stafford Mafia, right? The man's sound was out of national. We learned from the beating there. And after that, that was the key card. That was the era where we saw, all right, I saw it ago. Time for a step up now. And after that, it wasn't too long after that, we started to become V Racket International. Over so many years, like leave England, go to America, and left one of his brethren that worked a lot with him and amplifiers in Birmingham to look after with it and fix the sound when it needed fixes. So that never got too well, and that's when we got our parliament decided to say, we're going to try his brains. After a certain amount of time, like working on the sound and me and Parliament click um, because he was technically minded and technically minded in that way that he, he likes things electronic because it's not just the sound. First of all, I started off just working on the sound, building stuff. Then afterwards, when the, when the other side came in that we wanted to modify boxes and build boxes, Parliament always had, from, from Mr. Doogie, I think it was, Parliament always had that um, interest in, 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 in building boxes. And because me and Parliament kind of worked closely together with, because I could see the enthusiasm, what he had for it, I, I turned around and was showing them certain things. And, and we kind of like worked together to build the cabinets. I would design them. And then obviously the problem with me, Ricky, and Parliament. When I came around the sound, yeah, there was a lot of people into like those MCs, selectors, you know? Like I said, I came from like moving boxes and all them kind of things, yeah? And I seen that like a lot of people was into the selecting and the mic business, you get me? And I didn't say to myself, boy, I didn't see myself being a mic man in that way or even a selector. But I, I see in the other side where I said, boy, is this man operating this thing? And every time this thing goes out on the road, the main response is with this man. So that's how I got drawn more to Parliament and the relationship with me and him became even more because I more stuck around him, the engineering side of this thing because I see that a lot of people was going to the selecting, as I said, the mic business and that, and I didn't see myself doing that. I seen an interest that from the minute I seen Bernie turning these keys and in his head in a valve amp, I said, boy, I was more interested in this side of the sound. Ricky was always there. When, whenever the song was playing, Ricky was like the right hand man. If, if it was anything, if the sound was pulling down, Parliament would show Ricky what the ropes, and Ricky was the kind of person that was always eager and there with, and showing the interest. Valerie Robinson, affectionately known as Lady V, joined Ruben and Parliament by filling a vital position as manager and agent for V Rocket. Her addition to the team would help make V Rocket the formidable force it would become in the UK sound system arena. Valerie joining us was like a piece that was missing and it was a significant move at the time because she started to angle the business as the promoter, helping to promote, taking the bookings, and not only that, but the real significance where Valerie come with, she started to build a relationship with Jamaica and the artists then. 
the first time I met Valerie was at Jammies in the 80s when Valerie was young. Beautiful, even though she's, she's beautiful right now, but she was more beautiful back then because she was younger and she was shaped like this. Very, very sexy, beautiful lady. And I saw her at Jammies and she was cut in a dog plate. But um, them time there, you know, everything's a hustle. So um, I showed him to cut that one, cut this one, it's a better tune for anything. And we just um, had a friendship. Um, Valerie is like, like every lifetime you meet a sister who is strong, intelligent and knows what she wants. When we start with the song, oh, come in, roping with Parliament and, and Ruben, we decide so we're going to set a foundation at Jamaica. So I fly to Jamaica and set up with dub settings with Channel One. Who came on them days the Squingy was engineer. King Jammies and Tubbies. Well Jammies did come slightly after because Tubbies did their water also do, do them thing. Father used to go to Jamaica regular. So all the pre-releases and disco 45s and them tune they used to come in regular. Parliament and Ruben from younger days used to regularly buy them tune. So all that continue, but it step up and the dub them start coming differently now. To me it was an ace move. It was an ace move. And very I'm to make a lock. And the respect with them show sure fear down there, so we say we. So we make sure go down most of the time. The majority of the time I she go cut it up there. She go down there and she come up with tune. Or she send up tune when she can and come up and do. Right? And when very start the that. And only, that's why in the dance or the clash, I me mean, we did have one of some tune and Valerie. I don't want a person could have come and say, you know, I give them the Prince Junior. Or some Dalans, you know. I'm gonna like, say, we could be uh, yeah, right. No, yeah, I'm gonna say, they could yet me a whole lot of I wanna me and I used to correspond that way in a clash. You see me? No me and Bernie. When Ski fell them and the rest of them and the man said, give me some nitty grit today. Me not listen to them. But I'm very come and say. Jar for that tune there now, jar for that the rhythm there now. But next two tune me have up here. Rare, rare, rare. You know, and sometimes she come and me not think about a tune. And she said, you don't feel that with a grand so now beef it. And bop and please pull up. My partner in crime still, you know, I'm not lying now. Ruben. That's something I know I use. When I say partner in a crime, you know, enough of the killing will use to go on and assassinate them again. Why did you give certain instruction? Yeah, during the earlier days, as Valerie and me and Ruben start to lick it now, we have a little youth where him did spend some time in Jamaica and him come back here and we are talk about the wicked Scrapey Bantan. <laughs> so Scrapey is a youth where you used to come around at the house and I want to go to school. But him, him, him love the sound thing. Wherever the racket is, I have to be there. 
Because every racket used to play on the, on the blues, on the ice and green spot, but it's not, even, but it's not even there anymore. Regular every night. So some nights I used to just go there just to hold the microphone. You know? Some, some days I miss all school. And, you know, Parliament, beefy, all the time. You say, hey, if you go on a school, if you go to school. So sometimes I used to miss out if you go to school, but I just always love the music, I love the sound. I did always, all I wanted was the microphone. We used to enjoy him lyrics then, write him one lyrics them and him talk him one lyrics. So Scraper Jain, we had a very young age, because when Scraper first joined, we, you know, he was going just in his last year at school and some man in me see him come and say, Scraper, you're supposed to be in school, man, you're not supposed to be here. And you know, Scraper they just love the thing. I hear me start tell me, say, yo, go to school, you know, man. I hear me start tell me, say, yo, if you go to school, you know, go on to school, man. See? Because from in our parliament and Ruben, you know, you know we, we used to love the music, but but at the same time, you know, is a man, him look out and me look up for him. He's like my brother, like my father when me I grow up with the Rocket Sound Parliament. Up to, 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 up, to, up to the time. You understand? You know? Parliament are the real man and he make me all we fix up round I sound because if I go if I go on bad round I sound him, him let me know and I'm serious. Parliament not play people. Me and Parliament say we are gonna bring you in you now. But if you not go to school, you can't come from the sound, you have to go to school. And the way Scrapey love it, he decides, say, me I go to school, me I go to school, Sister V. I go to school, because I wind up on the sound. Scrapey hold down the sound from my board, 16. I work the mic. And I tell you, it was a general. In 1987, V Rocket created history by being the first UK sound to carry their entire sound system and crew on a 12 week tour of the motherland of Dancehall, Jamaica. It was a trip that would change the trajectory of the sound system and launch V Rocket into the League of Champions. The idea came up that we need to tour Jamaica. It never took long for we make the decision. It was like a evening bantering where overnight it became reality. So it wasn't just the crowd were just flying in with just music, you know. We are support the sound. We would, we would generate and everything. So 87, we saddle up and we couldn't believe when the day come, flight and everything book and the sound, Transpark Shipping Company come pick up the equipment that we say, Parliament say, we are carrying the things them go load up with self, you know. And we go down at the, 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 where the canteen are there. I'll never forget it, you know. A, a, a Volvo car, they're on the top like a pallet. And the man them pack the sound, everything. Generator and the sound, sh sound ship off gone to Jamaica, 87. 1987. V Rocket touched down in Jamaica. And that was it. Da 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 the teacher. We fly out and I now mean, like it was a difficult one because when we reach we want crazy money for we clear it. For we clear the equipment. So eventually what happened is the shipping company now tell the agent to put up the money. Cause them know say 
the equipment booked for comeback because the concern was with the customs that we are going to sell the equipment out there. So we're going to off, clear the sound, get the sound, and we are drive through the area of them are come back, pass down Spanish town side because we are going to go BS, up to Isaac. And people are run behind the truck say, oh, England sound come, England sound, England sound come from England. Because they could see all the boxes on the back and they could see we were on there with it. And we drop in a whole of beer. String it up and everything. And my husband, Jeffrey, he was the man where to look after the generator and thing. The main worry was, is the Delco going to work? <laughs> is the generator going to work? I had to say to some of them, on the cool, no man, everything good. And put in petrol and everything. I remember when them when them jarred the 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 the, the delco and it come on, and the sun string up and start fire. And when the first tune jar, I miss a really V racket this a play, and people are coming from all about and I say yes England song, yes V racket a long time we are here about you know. Hola hola have beer. The yard the rum. So we get for me to all movie star Johnny because I'm BSA, Mr. BSC then. Them time they all have a beer. So anything I play them time they get, get rub out. Because foreign sound, a foreign sound did and the artist, them Admiral Tibet, Courtney Melody, Skyfish, Singing Fish, Winston Ozzy. And that's how we meet Edgington. Edgington come from all have a beer. And Isaac bringing Penny Ira from town. Be King Jammin Sev Iraq every time. Every, every Parliament time. and Ruben, steer clear. Steer clear. Yes, King, respect. respect. The tour was really with tied up with We Are Jammies. You know, and cut a long story short. That tour, Shabby's and Bobby Digital, give with them belly. I have the majority of the rhythm them that Bobby, Steely and Jamis them was licking them time there. Me have them and more. During them time there, my brother Ruben, my sister Valerie, them live a studio. Sometime all two o'clock a morning them are coming, right? Some days I go down there with them, I did there with Ruben and Valerie, Bobby Digital, my co P, King Jammies, my godfather. The man called Paul, man! Wagwan! Why, years and years and years, I'm not you know, nothing now. Different to when they came on the tour to Jamaica now, right? That really cemented the relationship because I tell you something. They had more time to stay in the studio, to listen to songs that I have, that they, that they didn't have, and it was a lot. They were there every day, till night. I go home leave them all the while. I cut them, you know what I mean? So that we, and father, they love all my sound sound. You know? Your man, your father, parliament, him love all my sound sound, because I string up and say, yes. So not real. So that is, that is why when I went to England, to clash can sound. We use V Rocket because V Rocket now kinda clone my sound. Parliament think like how me think about sound system because the way how me want my sound for sound is the same thing with Parliament, you know what I mean? Parliament is a straightforward quality man and power man. And I saw me deal with the sound system thing too, you know, quality and power. No, that trip was I was in my element. I'm here in the art of reggae music mech in Jamaica and I'm in the top studio and producer at the time, studio. And every day I'm seeing Tiger, superstars I mean and out of the studio. And I'm getting tuned. Working with Jamies and Bobby Digital, Scringy rest in peace. How Scringy did leave from Channel One and was engineering 
before Bobby Rona Jammies. So we build up a really, really good relationship where V Rocket become Jammies UK sound with a sound name Unity. So everything will come off at half of the press. V Rocket, I get them. Yes, Barry and Parliament, them, them no song, you know. I tell you, anything they do, they make a search for it and find it, and you know, them cut it. Don't so want about them don't say so tonight, you know. And that's how they are. They rock it on in Africa. The in the Eagles, they saw them on them no son of worries. Brigadier Cherry, live. You look like Tiger. You look like Orange and Principal Penny. You look like Edgerton and. You know it! Yo! Pila palang, pilang palang, palang, pila palang, I miss a move it again. But no! Chilla palang, chillang palang, palang, chilla palang, I miss a move it again. Yo! Some of them come and I sing, I miss it, some of them come and I shut. No more, see what they check it out, they will let them a dead stop. But DJ and I'm V Racket in Jamaica was our experience and I have come and meet Benny DJs. You know, so to speak, you know, Edgy, Teacher Desi, Penny Irie. Many, many, many artists, you know, Patrick Patma, Kingfish, Jose. I can go on and on, the list is many. Show me the way now. Move it. Whilst in Jamaica, V Rocket would recruit some homegrown talent who would join the crew and return with them back to the UK. He about a song fly down from England, yeah? Because uh, the, the proprietors and the owners and everything come from my district anyway, my area in a Spanish town. So, Big Buck, which was one of the family members, you know, we live in Jamaica, yeah, said to me, say, uh, you know, say, Rocket, I'm going to play up there, so. Yeah, up on Cumberland Road, right beside Kiandan, there was a little land, yeah, up on Cumberland Road for who knows Spanish town. So, I said, I'm going to go forward up there, see what I'm going on. So I go up there at night and sound and play good and artists all about a DJ and you know music in a year you feel the vibes and rhythm I play and go up there and hold the mic and be with it away and nice up the place and get a couple of forward and everything me and other artists that were there because it was a, a, a slew of artists that were there on that night and I remember we left the dance and everything good and the home, I go and own the craft, I go and DJ some other sound album, you know, small locks, black spider, some some area sounds and all these things. So, all I'm concerned, they are my home one day and a big back himself come to me and say, you know, say, the people in for the song, which is in family, them V Rocket, want you up there enough to do a thing. Well, me just I say, cha. I'm out talk and thing. I go and do my thing, said we. Until I see him come back again, so I know say something serious now. Yeah? And then we get a contact to Valerie. Yeah? Miss V, man. You know? And she says, so and so and so and so. And get your passport and thing together. Ray, ray, ray. And you're going to come up such a time and such a way. And I say, yeah? So I start preparing because I start to get serious now. Prepare up and get myself ready. Passport in up and ready and everything. Get an invitation letter, get it stamped, JP, everything. Yeah, and ticket come and make a fly. Let me tell you what going on. It's like an eruption going on in England sometimes. Because it's an English sound, like a yard sound, come back in a full force. Bama drop, all the dirt and dead. Let me say. We realized when we were leaving that these were guys we would have to try and get up here because they were ready, they, they, they loved the family, we loved them over the three months we had met and we said this is business, this is music and if you guys want to come up and work the sound, a full job that for try getting up. It was, it was an experience and a half, may I tell you. Wake up and shake up, cause now is V Rocket time. V Rocket is gonna blow your mind. Boy, wake up and shake up, yo. Ooh, yeah. When V Rocket Ooh, returned yeah. to the UK, they came ready to solidify their place in the Premier League of UK Sound Systems. 
They began to engage in fierce competitions with every top sound in the country and became a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, our journey had ended in Jamaica and we returned back to the UK after three months out there touring the island and creating some good work. Um, following that, it was time to do some killing. My selector at you know the We rock it up it turn on the My selector at you know the Oh star Let go the sun on me give me Every night and day Oh star Let go the sun on me give me Every night and day We rock it in my turn on the My selector at you know the We rock it in my turn on the My selector at you know the I want to know all the girl them are not so I want to know all the dance it around so I want to know all of the song them want to see what we are come back with all the latest shown and one bag of excitement so me remember now the Marcus Garvey Center Tyrone down at the Garvey was very smart I had this idea that when they get back I would book them for four solid weeks um, I mean, just think of four weeks of one song system playing. The first night, it was just Free Rocket on its own. And you talk about 700, 800 people. Absolutely crazy. And then after that, we had Free Rocket and Unity, which is another song system, packed to the rafters. Because it's a big thing. Free Rocket have come back from Jamaica. All the new music, um, people want to come in and hear it. And then I think after Unity, we had, I'm not sure if it's Java, we had, we had Coxner as well, but it was just, the main attraction was V-Rocket coming back from Jamaica and people coming to hear V-Rocket um, song system. Yeah, I mean, this has been the, the most blessed situation we have in Nottingham, where we have our own massive song system, which is nationally known and always playing here. Um, I would say V-Rocket has made Marcus. I think if you talk about Marcus Garvey Center, and the artist that's been there and the acts that's gone on there, you have to start from the very top and saying V Rocket had a place with it. The Marcus Garvey Centre in Nottingham is a world renowned venue. It has hosted countless reggae concerts and sound clash events for more than 40 years. The V Rocket crew and the directors of the Marcus Garvey Centre developed a close union that would create many memorable events. So right now we're here in the Marcus Garvey Centre. Me and my partner in crime, <laughs> Parliament. So when you talk about the, 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 the city of Nottingham, you have to talk about this iconic building, the Marcus Garvey Centre. Oh, really? hmm. Iconic in so many ways. It's, it's, it's an international building because so much great reggae artists and sounds has performed right here in this building. Back in the days, this is where it used to happen, everybody. Right here at the Marcus Garvey Centre was the meeting ground for all of the sound them. The Valerie and Tyrone them are put on the promotion. This is where we used to do it. And also, any sound check, the Rocket sound was established, the, the upgrade and the checking and everything this was our backyard. The relationship is that close with Valerie and Bernie and others that run the, run the system that whenever they want to use the building for testing um, their equipment, um, whenever they want to use the building, they know it, it's there, it's free of charge to them. It's rather interesting really because I meet people who have been to Marcus Garvey Center 30, 35 years ago and they would have met their partners here and they would talk about, can you remember Yellow Man and the big dance we had and V Rocket played? That's the kind of stuff you get literally daily. It's this big artist and oh, V Rocket was the song system. Enough respect to the Nottingham community mm. because had it been for your great attendance over the, the many years over and the years. support, mm. this building wouldn't be here. And I have to big up Tyrone for the, the, the work that he's done yeah. over the years to keep this building 
doors open. V-Rocket is a bona fide, phenomenal sound system. They have boxes, they have amps, they string up, they load up the sound, they play the sound, they have customized units, the whole thing. So we have to look here, when you're asked, if you're asking me, have I seen them clash? No, because when I came into it, they were already clashing and killing people for years before I got my foot in the door and started to become somebody who could take part. They were clashing Unity, Coxon, you know, all the Java, all those sounds back in the 70s. You know, in the 70s, I was like trying to find the courage to go into a dance. Them just tour Jamaica and them come back. And Valerie sent come call with come on Nottingham come play in a Marcus Gavi Centre. That are the most memorable because we know say them go to Jamaica now, you know, and come back and everything hot. So we have to go up there now, go face this. That was one hell of a dance. So much that is a dance we never forget, because sir. Ribs was very clever. Them time there, you know, demon rockers and them, them youth, they are going wicked. V Rocket Soul are the first song we call a super power song, you know. When them did, when V Rocket come with a sound there, no sound as far as I know of in England, yeah, a place so heavy, clean, you know, it's a superpower sound that I call it. You need to put on a piece of eating at the dance in a Marcus. And when I tell you, say, my daddy and I say, well, I go see how bad my youth to me is that I'm bringing. Penny Irie, and we're bringing Edgington, and we already have Scrapey. We have a local man, them. And we say, when the man, them, come in, after Unity done play. A star, a star, we want to show. We now run second, I show them time there. Call second dead. Everything come and kill them. Everything. Demon Rock and Fenty are English born. So it's a case of English presentation, English DJ versus Yard DJ. You know? Another different part of the buckle. You know, with DJ and DJ. You know? Well, wicked, man, wicked. All you can hear when the truck turn and come on, kang, 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 in a, in a gavi. Robert not do nothing but, but turn on theme song the same time. So the two songs I play one time. The man say I'm going mash up the better I mash up the dance than take a kill. anymore about going in a dance with whoever it was, cats and sacks and because I know I had what to deal with them with. I had the ammunition. Tune just a fall away. All when we not expect tune, we get a call. Barry, go to the airport now, some tune will come off you, one son saw carry it. Anytime you record some any new tune at all, B racket get them first. And them get special cut of the song too. With Techie Glad. We take it down, we mash up. Anything coming in front of we will lick it, my man. These are the two songs that when you and them clash, they, them, you get a fight. We love a fight with them. It was Saxon. Yeah? And Java. Them two songs, I always remember them. Because we and them always going at it because they have a good slew of entertainers too, like us. Yeah? And it, it, it was it, it was hard battles. Songs were there, you know, artistry. I would say one of the main events would be a club we called in Derby, which was the Havana Club. Um, that's if I remember. I know it's U Toxeter, U Toxeter Road. 
maybe number one, what is you Toxter Road. And V Rocky to my recollection had Charlie Chaplin. And Brigadier, the general, my good version. First time he played with Java, the amount of bass him licked me with me, I said, no boy, I'm not go back in front of the brother here till me ready. And I that me do. There was... Like a yard sound, still. There was one of the best sounds in the Midlands at the time. I actually would say there was the best in the Midlands. Mm -hmm. um, what we, we come across when we was um, playing. There was other good sounds. But the, the the music, what they was playing, I would say, I would rate that as the the best. I'm I'm not I'm not saying the DJ. They was playing like, more on a yard vibes mm. thing, you know. They would import a lot of artists from Jamaica and let them play on on, on their sound. So they was kind of bringing that yard vibes. We turned up at this dance now, we're all excited because we're still young in the game and V-Rocket, a big man too, you know, so. And I never forget, we strung up the sound, we're testing out and we sounded all right and we're excited, we're looking forward to it. And then I think um, Beefy come on the mic when they were testing out that sound. And I'll never forget this. He said, Sovereign, me and Bolton are still in up. But tonight, we are going to see if you have any use. <laughs> I never, uh, that's always stuck with me, man. I think they did have, um, was it Robert Lee? On the mic, yo, me and some dub plate that night there. And it's so drop, you know, man. Yeah, man, make me have to work hard, you know. <laughs> but I don't want to talk the full hundred. <laughs> At the time, Master Blaster only had a few dub plates. But when V Rocket come on with the valve amps them in a red, gold, and green, and Parliament was there and Ruben was there. The first tune them playing was a 45. You know the song name? Dixie Peach. Slaughter. And the first song the man them put on you know. And the way the man them boss it, the man them say, you know, say we just get two box of dub from King Jammies. So we are going to, we name going to select them. We just have to pick them off of the pipe. See it? And you say after them play the, the slaughter and test them song Dixie Peep, the man them play. I'm feeling love sick. Same for me, I keep this a quick, quick, quick. <laughs> the man them wash up the place. Me, I look for Billy, Billy, I look for me. Me, I look for stylish style. Me, I look for it. I say, oh, what this in your palm way? Gold finger Ruben, that you know. Oh, you never chat off them out and talk. Then cancel like Ruben. Ruben not select tune where every selector select. Ruben draw some tune for some boy. A war them one war in a clash. Wow. Ruben. When you talk about Ruben now, then you just have to say parliament. I don't separate none of them because they have a team. And in the music industry, or you know, any industry in life, you just have to have a team. It's a team that makes one unit. And Ruben, top class selector. Challenging. Ruben was the top selector in England. We now buy us everybody me ever hear from me in Ronald Sound. You have cinema cinema of the selectors that really stand out. Um, like the top five most famous selectors and Ruben's in that bracket. Ruben when him attacking you know, him aggressive. One of my icon as a selector that for life. Yes, Ruben. I the man who really spin the record, but Parliament play a part in that too. And I in tune the sound and make it sound a way where I want to jam his sound in and play like V Rocket. No other sound in England. We know where it is so special. A 
been DJing a, a very long time and to tell you the honest truth without no self praise by the sound it's the best mic stage I ever talk on and a lot of artists a lot of singers tell me that when when you DJ upon V Rocket sound you don't have no strain you can't get worse because you don't have to strain it doesn't matter how hard you DJ it doesn't matter how light you DJ the mic stays just like it adjusts to your voice. The, the, the other thing that I did like with V-Racket, the tapping, it was so clean, it was so clear. Yeah, so when you hear V-Racket taps, even if you never know say a V-Racket not the dance, when you hear the taps, you're going to go a V-Racket up yeah, you know? Shut up. Parliament know the preamp, yeah? And them thing that me love, yeah? It know the preamp, and when you hear him, I find some frequency, you know? <laughs> Let them think that you're so sweet, Mr. Still, you get me? Yeah, man. I'm known for play him song. Mid range. I always watch Bernie touching up, touching up, and him touching up, you know, and him just give you that vibes. The sound just make you make lyrics, you know? It just make you make lyrics. There's no sound that you're happy for you to talk about. You're not, you're not tired because. The mic don't work you. You work V Rocket mic. You understand? You, the mic don't work. You have some sound where you have to bake some. Put a little more tap and put no. Once Bernie say DJ time and Bernie under the mic, there's nothing more to do. The mic stage just clean. Even jammings, jammings when we do the jamming store and the V Rocket sound we did use. Even jammings we, we tell every artist go back and say no, sir. The cleanest mic stage. When the Monday. Tune up V Rocket Sound and me a DJ. They man make everything for the sound come like it bad. Rude. So I have a game in here, rude boy parliament. Tell the man make the sound rude. You see me as a general? Them man in a ram for mixing up with that. All my seven other players. Enough rivals we have, rival we have still you know. Can we have to talk about sounds like Sovereign from Luton. Got some unity. From Manchester, Baron Turbocharge. No generation. Master Blaster. Saxon. Even before my time, Jungle Man. Java. Taurus. All the London sound them car. The London sound them. Just did feel say no song from up north. Not supposed to can do what we was doing to them. I mean, I go on it. We beat up the whole of them, Dada. They must watch it as a country song, and that's it come from you know? And town and town sound free. And you know, say even like in a Jamaica now, where town sound they must say rare, but yet still you have sound of a country that are sometimes the base of the city, you know. The come at town, come deal with town boy, wicked, that's how we did deal with them. It's like, true, it's a country sound they couldn't release, this country sound from Nottingham. So bad. You know, we're, we're going out of London. You know, I'm playing all them big sounds and we are giving them trouble. London have attitude, you know. No care where you come from, if you're outside of London, them are the wickedest. Them can't help that. It's in them DNA, right? Me live in London. So it's in my DNA too. When me and Robert Unity play, we play lovingly, we have a clash, and every man had me to get bound. Now, with Unity and V Rocket, now members say they must come from the same stable. So it's a different outlook now. You know? And as I said, we have a job for do that have to promote the music where we are playing. We never just have played dub so willingly have played any this and any that. We are playing some proper tune and it's only Unity and V Rocket at that time I played that amount of Jammy's music. We never crossed the line 
at all, at no time at all. We keep everything in the dance hall, and when we come out, there is bare respect for one another because we can see what one another is doing. I enjoy doing that to them. I enjoy coming to London, knowing they're not going to sound as good as us, but I'm rinsing some tune in the head as well. The real battles was V Rocket and Saxon. The whole of England know that. But anytime them buck up from we, it was always a problem. I mean, I say, man, no get him little night, them, you know. But we were very effective. They would give us, they would give us a run for our money. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because people... you need a song where I go give you vibes, you know, or give you a, give you a two kick, you know, and you have to say, right, boy, you know, somewhere, we'll touch them back somewhere. Some, I, you know? I, I tell you, sometime when V-Rocket used to play, I mean, them play a bad tune. Why I mean, the hear from my neck back, stand up. And my head got cool and I say, wow. You know? Because a bad sound. The event when Saxon and V Rocket did play, and let me tell you, they were toe to toe. And it was in London, I'm talking. I'm just trying to remember, you know, but I can't involve and ask a question to get the pinpoint. But that event was in London. I think it's Kilburn, you know. They came to um, Kilburn, London, for the first time to play with, and they brought. Um, Penny Irie, Edgington, and um, Lecturer. Lecturer. They dance Ram Saxon and V Rocket. I will never forget that clash. When I said the dance Ram, it no, no, play, play Ram. And I remembered Rocket Day. You know, they surprised the London crowd because they work Saxon. And Saxon will tell you this in another interview. Who would you say had the mantle or to pick? It wasn't a trophy they were playing for. But that event was, when I said music, expanded that night. Quality music. And may I tell you some man, when I go up on the stage, you know, I go on and say, the crew would never buy us. And I, I, I never forgot my first lyrics. I said, Who you not ready if you go home? And I hear them say, No. Who not ready if you go home? Who not ready if you go home? Who not ready if you go home? But V Rocket, it was the early days of V Rocket coming to London, made a stamp in London, a mark. Because then touch Saxon can, you know, sorry like, but you know, we are musical bridge, just like, oh, for we can't get touched too. Everybody can't get touched. That night, V Rocket gets Saxon a piece of whopping. Beautiful dance. People know, anytime V Rocket and Saxon buck up, it's dance have a nice, you know what I mean? V Rocket have them thing, we have full of flavor. Even See if we play V Rocket in the midweek, and a week there, mm. dance nice. We buck Saxon one night, and him bring him whole entourage of DJ them. Him a one of the main man me attack. And the man them give we a wide him. Every man take him out brush with. So when we go for our DJ them, whether them are English man or Jamaican man, and them touch or no, talk it to it, go so a man get touch. Yo, Saxon bad still in you know we have over them as a Jamaican now. We have the style and the pattern. When we come come like this, we'll push up, come out and have to take my take on. How is it in our fans and stand and very respect to him? Don't need to worry about the way that's such a thing. Is it? Yes, it's just here, right? You know, Tim.
Because them for no say P Rocket, an English sound with the art style of foreign. And them for always remember that. There was one dance where all of us said, we can't miss Saxon and V Rocket. Wolverhampton Crip. Yeah? And me, I tell you the dance, ram, chew on a bite, lyrics a drop. You know what I mean? But if not gonna tell you what the outcome because. But as a youth, in other dance days, like he has said, Cha, no, this is the level of sound system where you aspire to be. This that dance was it for me. See? So Saxon, so one thing with V Rocket, you know, them always clean and heavy. Saxon BS did just is one of them punchier BS. Cause London Soul never did have the weight. Them did have one, one big BS. But you see when the Midland Soul and like V Rocket and something from Birmingham, them have the weight the night then. Yo, the dance nice. We were on a UK tour, we did like London, and then we went up north from Coventry to Birmingham, then to Nottingham, where, where we broke up Free Rocket. Um, they were like, where well, the biggest ticket in Nottingham, I mean, to this day. Um, they had lecturer, and we had Clement Ivy, and we were rolling that night, and went to daylight, we did dub for dub, DJ for DJ, tune for tune, the works, I mean, that was like a crazy dance. Um, v Rocket, yeah, t yeah, amazing. Honor and respect to all of them sound because every man of them time and every man of them true quality. The reputation of V Rocket sound went before them. They were revered because people knew how powerful they were. Other sound systems feared them because they knew that the dub box was deep. Lord of mercy, mercy, mercy. As Valerie grew in her role as manager, she evolved into one of the leading promoters in the UK. Valerie is the creator of platforms such as Winner Takes All, UK Rumble, and England's biggest annual Sound Clash event, the UK Cup Clash. Sister V you now is a lady, we call her music royalty in England. It was a big journey, I don't have to express because you can see Sister V has done so much to this music establishment in England where from her sound which was her father's which I heard her story before many interviews that she has given. Sister V came to uh, an era and a struggle in sounds which was men dominated. You have to respect that lady and very challenging and she never gave up the fight, the musical fight. Because you have to be challenged like that. You have to have, I don't say war, but you have to have that musical challenge and Sister V is on point. She's a top class lady. She's an administrator. She's a promoter. She's an organizer. She's an agent. She has many qualities. And I'm sure many sounds around the world has that love for her. Sister V, come check her on a Wednesday night. I can't forget, on a Wednesday night, then you say, more, oh, one metro media, come to England. So far, I met you. So I said to the V, he said, my metro media, daddy metro, she's going to have a drink. And it was and it was it was history. One oh, nice one, you know. Nice lady, you know. She she loyal. She not do remote. Anything she 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 go do she go do it. And from that now she come like a sister right now. The whole family come like a family. From that from that from that one. From that that from that two the one. We come like a family. In the year it is very sent for Jamis King Jamis son from tour man. I'm a tell you man. Rip up England man. The whole of England mash up. Biggest dance them about the place, man, everywhere. Everywhere we play, so loud. Ram. While them are sweat water run out of the place like a river, me I tell you, man. Yeah, she she well experienced, you know. And it couldn't have been easy for her to come to, you know, in a what would a classic as and I, I'm gonna just use this term, man world when it comes to soul. She, she cut the grass neat in it. And she come through very powerful. And she bring a different influence to the whole industry. I've watched this woman grow from, I'm going to say it, from nothing to something and fighting 
to preserve the sound system industry. Why? What can I say? The things what she has done to actually for the sound system world and also the UK is is invaluable. So I would take my hat off to that lady dear. Speaking on behalf of Sovereign, my, my cousin Scully and my brother Robbie, V Rocket are one of those sounds that they actually helped us grow as a sound. So what it is, well, you've got to remember with sound system at that time, it was very competitive, very tribal. Um, so there were lots of people in the industry that wouldn't really help you because they're thinking you could become a threat to them. But I know I could pick up the phone to Valerie and then she would, in turn, put me in contact with certain people and give us some advice that would help us grow as a sound as well. When she asked me to take part in UK Cup Clash, I was like, uh... Mm, and immediately the old tummy muscles, you know, butterflies were kicking. I was like, oh, no, no, I can't. No, Valerie, I, I, I'm not in that league. What? What? And she convinced me, gently persuaded me, but finally convinced me that I could and should take part. And I did. And it wasn't just once that she did that. She did that on more than one occasion. And it was because she filled me with confidence that I was able to take part in UK Cup Clash and able to get some of the forwards that I got. For that, I have one person to thank, Valerie Robinson. Original Chronics alongside V Rocket Sound for years and decades. And I say, belly bless yourself. Val B don't say next word neither. Parliament, Rastafari, and a long argument. And I say, Lady V, Rastafari, reign and rule. East, Second and C. After taking the sound system off the road to upgrade the equipment, V Rocket was relaunched in the beginning of the millennium, and the new generation were positioned to take the forefront and continue the legacy. Yeah, the sound had been off the road, and that was six years. But during that time, I have a son, Paul Al Jr., which is known as Belly and we had imported a new DJ and selector, Val B, who, who was going to move forward in the Manelium early years with, as the newcomers them and the younger, vibrant, you know, the business are changed now, you know. So you have to move with the time. The transition had to be made because things change. A lot of the sounds them, we used to just have the, 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 the one changer. A lot of them sound start start to disappear from off the scene. And we never want that re reach, reach the sound. So Ruben was the one where Imadi, like back in the days of Jamaica, you know Imadi bad man in the thing. I him at the selector. We kill people. So when they brought me up, it's more like a juggling part of things. So the table was just started to turn. So that's our first step to juggling, becoming juggling sound. And it was pure them dates they want the records and me and Val and Bolo was there for a year, year, a couple of years. And then um, at the same time, the young as them, my nephew, them, my son, and some of them friends came up to them while to our soul. The Rocket Millennium Squad, the younger part of the sand, with um, my brother, my cousin. What happened was my son, now Marley, started playing music at a young age, and him team up with Belly, Parliament's son. Me and Belly partnered, partnered up. Um, and we started doing like little under 18s parties and we started keeping our own under 18s parties and um, following footsteps of mum and the sound, you get me? And them used to go over the house on a Saturday, every Saturday morning, and you know, Marley get up and beg him dad to lift over to him uncle Perny. And them used to see in the dub box, a clash. When we come across Parliament Yard and him have a son named Belly. But I always see a little youth, them. when I come up them, I always in the room, I clash and I juggle him and him brother and Marley and everybody. So I look upon him and I say, look at you, youth, I'm bad still, you know, but hear what happened now. Him not talk that much, 
But him chew them while him select them. Him a chop people in the head. I'm used to study belly in and I set a part to set a bolo, a bolo. The youth have to start playing upon the sound, you know. There's something about him. Marley can't talk by himself and him can't select by himself. And we have a meeting and I said to Parliament, say, you hear what happened now? Belly for come upon the big sound. Let him go upon the big sound. So it's like one day, you know, the other day look upon me and say to me, say, you know, I'm more bringing a youth upon the sound. I say, you mean? Come with the done with him already. So I say, you mean? And then she said, yeah, man, who I'm bringing in, where you take myself? Let me tell you something later for you. A family thing, make him come in. You see, from the day, the youth come in, I don't want the easiest part from me to play sound. The youth yeah, make me feel good. My, I don't want to select selector no more. Me just wall the mic and just deal with me after deal with it. My passion for music and sound system came from a very young age. Obviously, grew up in a in a household of music. Obviously, Parliament. That's my dad. So I would always hear the sound system tapes, the sound clashes, the music. I'd see the records. It would be a very physical thing for me. You know and I mean, he had a record shop, so I was there and I was able to get access to the music and stuff. And like I said, in two thousand and two. Um, Uncle Beefy Ruben, as they call him, um, he kind of just said, you know what? When you're ready, let me know. And him come one night, well, I can't remember where or which dance it was, but he came and he says, Unks, I'm ready for it tonight. He said, what for? He said, all right, go on. And that was it. From that him no look back. Yeah. Hey Rocket, we run the world and nothing arm. What me say ya, we run the world and nothing arm. Tell them and nothing arm where we come from. V Rocket sound no no string up on the lana. Dubby now we box like weevil pan cana. Easy V Rocket na second and karma. Patsy and down there ya from early warma. Road wide chill and just a watch what I wanna. High grade push up in a belly them palma. Can't tell bad man for second and karma. V Rocket juggle from evening till dawn. Here a couple bridge in your semi wagwana Video, catch the clothes with your banner Vira But as you hear them say belly I'm a thing where you just sit down the cool and the man mash up the place When you come up and go to the first tune You know, and that, and that way them, we want them have the horror and the, the way the place That's how I want them to have it and that, them have it You can't go around them The chemistry between them two Them, them, them are, are brothers them Working with Van and Belly is like, what, what can I say, it's like one of the best things ever because um, Val, MCing, crazy. Belly selecting is like always on point. Been working there from 2016 and Val and Belly combination is like one of the best I've ever seen. I've seen all the selectors play in UK, but when you come out to Val and Belly, trust me, nobody can test. Both of us have an understanding. That I was the key. He was willing to listen, right? And at the same time, his ideas them when bring to the table was really on point. When when I was let loose in the in the archive with the records, the 45s, the 12 inches, the LPs, the dub plates, it was like wow, you know what I mean? My 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 my, my knowledge and my music library and my edit just expanded when I got the opportunity. So I'm not saying Uncle Beefy didn't say this belly or Val didn't say this belly, but I think a lot of my learning came from observing and acting and, and, and being in these events and putting these, putting the deep end basically. So sometimes we're going out of dance, we don't even want, we don't say what you are doing. We just leave the pressure upon him to see how we can manage it. Because some business, people think it's very easy to do, to deliver is one of the hardest things to do every week. Bell is a silent killer. You get me? It's not too, he's a man that won't talk too much, but you see when he gets behind the turntables and the decks, that's where he does his talking. I got one thing with Bell, you know. Him don't program. You see, when you listen to him, if him play tonight 
and then tomorrow night a two different selection and then still keep the thing moving you know what i mean and then you know valby and my man you know him just have three little presents and him just have him like a style and you know so the man them are go and go the two you them are go and wicked upon the sun and them are all them on you know what i mean and i keep v rocket fire burning and with them as well them always play and play to the audience and make sure everybody are right. you know some selector just play to themselves they're not watching the audience val b always i watch the audience and i look away to bust the crowd i love that with him still you know all right i'm going to billy 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 play v rockets song but billy i want my selector big him up big selector then he's here with him humble and him know what i do i be with him he know him job a good selector and he know what i do See, me I'm going to Billy, from Billy, see me come in and take Billy and say, Billy, come here. And me and Billy go in and Billy get out him laptop now. And me say, Billy, so we are going tonight, you know. In the, in the mix. What do you say? Billy no shoot and miss. Who's all about now the old, younger heads haven't been around or been together as long as Val and B. So to me, me would say Val and B, you know, are the big man in the business. You know, I just, them feel like getting at some more clash now. We've been all over juggling many countries around the country juggling. For me, I haven't experienced the dire, rugged clash, clash vibe, you know what I mean? And that's where I want it to go. And I'm not saying I want to stop juggling. I want to be able to do both. But for me, I know the 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 the, the, the um, music we've been voicing i know the input that's been put in to making sure that the specials and the dub box is well rounded so for me the future is i personally want to start clashing but i also know we've got a younger team that we're trying to bring through and with us after i'm not going to be playing sound system forever val's not going to be playing sound system forever so we need to leave it in a good shape for the man them that are going to be coming up after us so the legacy can live on you know what i mean i'm not gonna lie i'm 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 the guy right now that's got a point to prove so wh whatever dance i go in um whatever opportunity i get i'm coming to shell, shell it down you get me so that's just my thing right now. It's just building back and taking the opportunities when they come. Them say so now of sense are the selector the behind. And we can promise people now. I you said this year, anybody run up in on me and belly, just know say on a plate or share out different. You know it's V Racket sound. You know, so the slogan is the only sound that goes to the moon. So we're here, we're gonna stay here and for me, it's back off your time, you know what I mean? Ready. For over 50 years, V Rocket International has been going strong. The legacy is sealed. The new generation continues to bud and the future of the dynasty looks promising. It has been an amazing journey. But you have to give them respect for the years and the, the, the work while they're putting our business. And 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 I'm mean, not talk about just nothing, I'm mean, not talk about putting our business, world clash and all these things are going through sister behind them something. It's part of the team to make them things that happen. So I don't know normal something, I don't know little something. No, V-Rocket a big sound, you know. Big foundation sound. Because V-Rocket they bought before my sound, you know. You know what I mean? I mean know about V-Rocket sound from before me build unity sound. From me I select Fatman sound. You know, so V Rocket a proper foundation song. You know, one of the biggest. I have every respect for V Rocket song. You understand? We've been through our battles, war, and we always come out on the same side. V Rocket had the body song in England, you hear that? But I don't want to say. Me, Penny Irish, that's an original Penny Irish. Nobody can stop them. I know today. They are the best what me know about. I'm not nah biased. I love V Rocket son to the world. My hand hold up for V Rocket anytime. See it? Enough respect and I salute V Rocket son. Straight up, up to the time until now. My son that. 
Well, I did best country sound I ever hear. <laughs> a real sound. Yeah, a real sound. A a country sound night night. A country sound night night. night. Yeah. Them go to London can control what? London. Control anywhere, but them is one of the top three songs, I would say. Over the last 40 odd years. Legend, man. Legend. V Rocket is a sound system legend, no doubt about it. The name V Rocket is implanted with the greats of UK sound system culture. Black Eyed V Rocket, the year to year England song. The year to year England song, and Metro Media, and the year to year Jamaica song. If there wasn't V Rocket song system, Marcus Garvey Center would nowhere, nowhere near be the success that it is. Marcus Garvey Center is nationally, internationally known. And I would say 95, 99% of that has been the work that V Rocket has put in. Jam is one of the best sound worldwide. You understand? And V Rocket second that. So, but that's a well done. Number one. V Rocket, may I talk about it? People, V Rocket, me I talk about Let me just say No song in England like that song. From the day I born and listened to music, no song in the world don't speak like V Rocket song. None have never heard music played on a song and song like a V Rocket music song. V Rocket. It's a big song. I will give that salute to the V Rocket team as an establishment and an enterprise, as a movement in the UK who has carried the journey of this music business, which hasn't been easy, it's just a struggle to take it through the generations. V Rocket was a very good sound, and um, yeah, I'll take my hat off. They're up to speed, they're up to date, they know what time it is, and they know how to rock a house. If you can't rock a house, you're in the wrong game. Get off the stage. V Rocket still commands center stage. They're a great sound. And Sister Valerie is a very special, special person. I build a lot of sound and you don't even hear about them anymore, you know? But I'm still hearing about V Rocket. You have sound that were, I was, I know they are not and isn't. But V Rocket sound is now. People, to all our people out there, medium father parliament, yeah, known as Bernie, but AKK father parliament out of V Rocket sound. Been there, done it, 40 odd years in the making, yeah, and we still out there crush it. Big up to all of the music supporters, them out there, all of the music dads, them, everybody. Peace. Well, I have to give thanks for the journey. The late Mr. Dovey and Mams. Mr. Manogi, Mrs. Arna. Because that's what the team is, you know. That is the team. Because the transition starts from Fidem siblings, Parliament and Ruben. And from Mams and Mr. Doge, God bless them because if they never start the little 50 watt sound system, what our, our journey would be, we would never know. So, enough respect to them. And made business, not just V Rocket, but reggae music, sound system culture. I'm mean, gonna just represent V Rocket, you know. I represent the culture, the sound system culture. May the culture live on. May the sound system culture live on. It get enough, enough fight it, it, uh, over the years. But more life forever when it comes to the sound system culture. And I have to give the utmost thanks and respect to the people them that have so supported us and stuck by us. And all the people that's played a role, whether in a wire, whether driving the van, rest in peace, Bola. Big up yourself, Java, Jeffrey, 
me can name some, some of the man them all drop out. Enough respect to all the people them that have supported us over the years and give us the encouragement to keep going. For start calling them a day at forever. Some more life to the sound system culture and to V Rocket International. Listen. We knew you are the one in a million. This is such a good sound. No sound can I play like V Rocket sound. Yeah. We're gonna kill the world for sound. Anything can happen. We get it better.